sometimes I'm getting, you know, kind of shit on by people who advocated for the war in Iraq. And I'm like, I'm not going to hear it from you, dude. Like you, like if you advocated for the war and you never apologize, like you don't get to go after people whose default assumption is that the establishment and the intelligence community are lying to us about war because you created the conditions where the vast majority of people have a deep skepticism of their government specifically around these circumstances. And yeah, I mean, their, their failures are just so manifold and it's pathetic because I've read so many incredible books about guys like George Marshall and Dean Acheson and George Kennan and, I mean, the Dulles brothers to a certain extent every once in a while. More, more, and whether you agree or disagree with them, these were really serious men. And the, I think the benefit that they all had is they got to see the cost of they got to see the cost of idealism, of inaction, and of not taking things seriously. And just at a baseline level, they understood the stakes. Because every, every single one of them lived through this tumultuous times, through wars. They saw millions and millions of people die. And every time they made a decision, they understood the impact that that decision would have, both on the country, the responsibility that they had to our soldiers. And I just, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think that there's a person alive in government today, or very, very, very few, at the top and the highest echelons who do not, who, do, who, who feel that same way. And I think that's really tragic. It's something I think about a lot. I do like when I talk to people in the establishment. I've had many people, even mm. on this podcast, um, from 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 the uh, foreign policy establishment and stuff like that. Many of them admit that they were wrong um, about yeah. stuff in there, and they may even admit the establishment generally gets things wrong. Richard Haas, who is who is the uh, president of Council <laughs> Foreign Relations. Um, he was on and he basically says like, yeah, we were mostly wrong on the big things. We've had other people on who said like, yeah, I thought when so, you know, uh, you know, what, whatever this happened, I, I was wrong. Right. So they're willing to admit often that they're wrong or they're wrong about Iraq or, but then, then it's just, yeah. but, so I, I don't, I don't feel like I'm blaming them there, but they didn't, they're, they're just, the track record's still bad. Right. Yes. Um, it's like, and it's not it's like, like they if, you, if you're a bad their... investor and you keep making bad investments over and over and over again, it's great that you learn from them. But like, if you keep making bad and bad investments, you, you shouldn't get more money to invest from your LPs. Abs that is such a point, important point. And that's where it's trite sometimes to say that government and all of that should, ri should run like business. But you know what the main thing I love about my business is stakes, money, dollars, and cents. If you make a if you have a good idea on how to create and gain more customers, you can field test it and you can have an impact the next day and you can learn from that. And when you have a bad idea, it costs you money. And and it's not just about you, it's about the fact that one of your employees is redoing their kid's bedroom or some shit and you're paying yeah. for that, man. And that's on you and you better not fuck that up. And there's something very important about that, that I think that every business operator has, a, has had to learn both at a micro and a macro scale, which a lot of these people are insulated from for their entire careers. Like you said, okay, it's great, Richard Haas, that you admitted that, but you know, I still see you in the page of the Washington Post and you haven't changed your tune that much. Or on yeah, MSNBC. And by the way, I, I love Richard. He's a friend. Yeah. I actually do think he's a really great guy who's very, very thoughtful about things. And he hasn't yeah. been in the game for a long time. And I think he he was very helpful when he was when he was in when he was in government. Um, right. And he's done a lot of good in the world. But but I'm just saying, like in general, because you you know he, he these guys are all, like him. But yeah, yeah it's there's not, a lot it's, of it's not it's not everyone's different. So you, yes. you can't stereotype everybody there. But but I, I agree. Like just in general, like the the, the quote unquote establishment has a bad a bad investment <laughs> record. Um, yeah, you know they you know if you if you gave them money and they were running a mutual fund, they would have they would be down like 90, 80, 90, 90 to ninety five percent right now. Um, exactly, and it just just wouldn't look good, right? You know? <laughs> exactly right. <laughs>